Hi guys, welcome back to Theme View. My name is Williams. And if you want a top notch product, then you will see that on this XPS 14 2024 with just a glance. It has its own language and it's executed an extremely high standard compared to the market average. However, the issue is that Dell has set a ridiculous price tag. A 1500 bucks laptop and you still only get a full HD plus screen. Talking about the design language, this 14 inch version is brought from last year XPS 13 plus, which I'm not really a fan of because a smaller device comes with a smaller frames, so it feels a little bit cramped to use. But with the 14 inch version, just look at the trackpad below. There's plenty of space and it looks incredibly slick. Dell has taken a really creative move is that they leave the physical trackpad and instead they're covering all the width of the laptop with glass layer. When you press it, you still hear a clicking sound, but this isn't your traditional trackpad with the mechanisms of raising and lowering. Dell uses a haptic trackpad, so when you press down, there's a force pushing back to mimic the feelings of pressing a physical buttons. And the areas of this trackpad is more than enough for comfortable use. From what I checked, the trackpad area stretches from the left out button all the way to the window co-pilot buttons. Overall, this is a smart move, and I believe many other companies will learn this in the futures. This approach does leave one drawback is that the entire area is covered in glass layer, so when you drop it, there might be a chance of you cracking it. However, on the other side, I don't think it's too big of a deal because Dell is famous for making super, super thin screen bezel. And the screen itself is also a glass layer, but until now, there's not many complaints about the screen glass cracking. The next special part is the keyboard. And I want to talk about this window copilot button first. According to Intel, an AI PC must have three factors. First, it must use a chip with a dedicated NPU for AI processing. Second, Window Copilot must run locally on your computer. And third, on the keyboard, there must be a Window Copilot button. This laptop fulfills all three of these factors. I believe that up to this point, the majority of users haven't fully appreciate the value of these buttons. Partly because you can assign it to another button and partly because AI is still new. However, I have been using Window Copilot regularly in my work and daily life. And now I find it extremely useful. As for the keyboard design, I believe this laptop has the most beautiful and unique keyboard design currently available. It's both elegant and special, with the function key also designed as touch sensitive, giving it a sleek and unique appearance. There's a possibility that many other companies may copy this minimalist design language from Dell in the futures. However, I must emphasize that to achieve this exact style is challenging because every detail here requires extremely precise craftsmanship to achieve overall sophistication. About the typing experience, I can say that this keyboard system might not offer the best typing experience. However, I'm not saying it's difficult to type. Uh, you only need about one or two days to get used to it and you will be fine. But the current keys require a bit of force to press down. So sometimes typing might feel a bit tiring and it's quite hard to type fast. On the other side are the speakers. And thanks to the 14 inch size, Dell managed to fit two speakers here. With last year's 13 plus version, the speaker is underneath, so the sound quality is a little bit awful. But with this year's 14 inch version, the sound quality is significantly improved. In terms of configurations, this laptop utilizes an Intel Core Ultra 7 processor. There's an option for a discrete graphic card, but the version I'm discussing here doesn't include one. I find this configuration's option to be more than sufficient for many users, whether for office work or basic graphic design tasks. One notable aspect is that Dell pricing's a little bit too high for the ordinary level of the configurations and the screen options. The screen of this version is only Full HD, 120Hz, yet the price go up to 1500 bucks. This is often the point of contention and criticism about the Dell XPS, being a premium machine but still equipped with just a Full HD screen. I believe that when positioning a premium product, all elements like design, build quality, performance, displays, all factors should be high quality. And having Full HD option doesn't quite fit the bill of a product like the Dell XPS. Dell still have a 3.2K OLED screen options, 
but you will have to pay 300 bucks more to get it. As for the batteries, providing around 7.5 hours on screen time, which is very good. Thanks to the new Intel Core Ultra chips, in terms of connectivity, there's no SD card slot, only 3 Thunderbolt 4 ports, this is even fewer than the MacBook Pro 14. Bottom line, based on the price, it's easy to criticize this product. And this is a product that I believe that offers extremely good quality, but is quite overpriced. You should consider buying it during the Dell discount period. Okay, so that's some of my thoughts about this device. What do you guys think? Please comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. My name is William and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.